What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to fix the printer operation could not be completed error you are getting on your Windows PC. This should be quite an easy tutorial. For more information, click on the first link in the description below. First things first, let's start by accessing the registry editor on your Windows PC. Click on the start menu, type in REG edit and press enter. This will open the registry editor. Here, you need to navigate to a specific path. Computer, H key current user, software, Microsoft, Windows NT, current version, Windows. Simply navigate to this registry editor path or copy it from the video description and paste it directly into the registry editor's address bar for convenience. Once you've reached the correct location, right-click the Windows folder. In the menu that appears, select Permissions. This will open up a new window. Here, click on the Add button. You need to enter your username in this tab. If you're unsure about your PC's username, there's a simple way to find it. Open your File Explorer and navigate to your local disk C. Inside, find a folder named Users. Open it and you'll see one or several usernames. If there are multiple accounts on your PC, your username is typically the first five letters of your name or part of your email address. After you find your username, go back to the permissions window, enter your username and click on Check Names. The system will automatically fill in the correct username format. Click OK and make sure that under Permissions for your username, the full control option is checked. This step is crucial as it grants you the necessary permissions to make changes. Next, click on Apply and then OK. Now you're ready to delete certain entries in the Windows folder. These are Device, Legacy Default Printer Mode and User Selected Default. A quick note, if you haven't set a default pointer before, the User Select Default entry might not be present. In that case, just leave it out. With these steps completed, restart your PC to apply the changes. After your computer restarts, it's time to adjust some printer settings. Click on the Start menu again, type in Settings and press Enter. In the Settings window, head over to Bluetooth and Devices. Here, you'll see an option for Printers and Scanners. Click on it to expand. Here, you'll find a setting titled Let Windows Manage My Default Printer. Make sure to turn this option off, as it can sometimes contribute to the error. Finally, set the Microsoft Print to PDF as your default printer. This is a neat little trick that often resolves the printer error. By following these steps, the printer operation could not be completed error will be a thing of the past on your PC. More information about this tutorial will be in my extensive guide linked in the video description. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.